Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. Whose woods these are, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. He will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. My little horse must think it queer to stop without a farmhouse near. Between the woods and frozen lake, the darkest evening of the year. He gives his harness bells a shake to ask if there is some mistake. The only other sounds the sweep of easy wind and downy flake. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep and miles to go before I sleep. Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost is fascinating. It appears to be a simple poem, but actually the rhyme scheme is very sophisticated. It is thought to be borrowed from a translation from the ancient Persian poet, the Rubaiyat, by Omar Khayyam. And the translation by Edward Fitzgerald preserved this very, very interesting rhyme scheme. And you can see in the first stanza, for example, whose woods these are, I think I know. You have no, though, then here, then snow. Three in a row, two in a row, one different one, and then the snow. But then the first line of the next stanza picks up that third line. Queer, near, lake, year. Then the next stanza picks up that third line, lake. Shake, mistake, sweep, flake. And the last one picks up the sweep. Deep, keep. And then the double line, sleep, sleep. Miles to go before I sleep miles to go before I sleep. So ostensibly it's a simple poem about a man stopping by the woods, his little horse is there, he's in a cart, he looks into the woods, he sees them filling with snow, and then there's a very very interesting transition in the last stanza where he says the woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep. Well, is he just saying these woods are lovely, I'd like to enjoy them for a little while? Or is he saying something darker? These woods are lovely, dark and deep. And I'm not really feeling like going on. I feel like staying here, maybe forever. And then thinking, ah, uh -uh, you can't do that. You've got promises to keep. So I talk about that especially as it influences my thinking about some of my patients.